This presentation will review the operation of the basic safety equipment on TWA-727 aircraft. The 727-231 and 231A models have four main cabin doors, two forward and two aft. To open either of the two forward cabin doors from the outside, pull out on the handle as far as it will go, rotate the handle 180 degrees, and then pull the door outward to the open position. When the door is fully open, a gust lock will hold the door securely open as a protection from wind gusts. To close the forward doors, push down on the gust lock and pull the door inward. Rotate the handle to the closed and locked position. The door handle will point toward the cockpit when the door is locked closed. To open the forward doors from the inside, rotate the handle up and aft to the full open position. Then push the door out until it locks against the fuselage. The door safety straps are mounted on each side of the forward doors. To use, unsnap both straps and buckle the ends together. The 231 and 231A aft cabin doors operate slightly different than the other 727 cabin doors. The rear door handle points to the floor when the door is locked closed. To open, pull in on the handle, rotate it to the full up position, and push the door out and forward until it locks open. The gust lock is in a slightly different position than on the forward doors, but it is still depressed to unlock the door. The door safety straps on the two aft doors are located in a reel at the side of the door. To use, pull the strap across the door opening and hook it into the fitting. Evacuation slides are installed on all cabin doors. A viewing window on the slide housing allows checking the slide inflation bottle pressure for pre-flight. A red warning ribbon is provided to indicate when the slide is armed. To arm the slide, first place the red ribbon across the door window. This warns anyone inside or outside the aircraft that the slide will deploy if the door is opened. Then attach the slide girt bar to the floor brackets. The slide is now ready for immediate use if an emergency evacuation should become necessary. To operate an evacuation slide in an emergency, first evaluate the outside conditions. To ensure that the area around the door is not contaminated by fire, smoke, or other obstructions, and will provide a clear escape route. If outside conditions are safe, open the door in an aggressive and forceful manner, since extra physical force is required to drag the slide from its container. If the slide does not inflate, you must manually inflate it. Hold on to the assist handle place your foot on the slide, and jerk forcefully on the manual inflation handle. The correct method for using the slide is to jump in a seated position. The first people down the slide should remain at the bottom of the slide to assist others off and away from the aircraft. Another item of safety equipment at the doors is an escape rope which is located in the upper door frame. To use, unsnap the patch and pull the rope down all the way. Then sit on the door sill. Get a firm hold on the rope, roll over, and lower yourself hand over hand to the ground. All 727s have an aft stair at the rear of the aircraft. It can be opened only on the ground due to an airlock that prevents the stair from being lowered in flight. It is normally raised and lowered by hydraulic pressure. To operate the stairs from the inside, 
Open the aft cabin door by rotating the handle to the left and pulling the door in. To lock the door open, attach the restraining chain to the slot on the door. Open the stair control panel door and push the control handle to the down position. On some aircraft, there is a trigger or a button on the handle. If it has one, press it until the red unlock light goes out. This will hydraulically lock the stairs down. To raise the stairs, reverse the procedure. Pull the handle up to the retract position, again pressing trigger or button if there is one. After the stairs are up, pull the handle farther to the up detent. And this will mechanically lock the stairs up and turn off the red unlock light. To extend the stairs in an emergency, simply push the control handle down. This mechanically unlocks the stairs and allows them to free fall. The stairs can also be operated from the outside. The external control handle functions identically to the inside control handle. Four emergency exits are located over the wings, two on each side of the aircraft. These overwing exits are considered secondary cabin escape routes for an emergency evacuation on land. To remove an overwing exit, pull on the handle and lift the exit out with the aid of the assist handle at the bottom of the exit. To leave the aircraft through the exit, Step through foot first. The overwing exits can also be opened from the outside by pushing in on the placard and pushing the exit into the cabin. To assist in getting off the wing, escape ropes are stored in the upper frame of each overwing exit. To use, unsnap the cover and pull downward until the rope is fully extended. Arrows on the wing direct passengers aft to the wing flap area. The simplest and safest way off the wing is to slide down the flaps. In the event that the cabin exits are unusable, there are two cockpit windows which may be used for emergency exits. Each is provided with an escape rope. To open the window, grasp the handle and squeeze the unlocking lever. Then rotate the handle inward and at the same time slide the window aft. To exit, deploy the rope. Climb out feet first. Roll over on your stomach. Grasp the rope. And lower yourself hand over hand to the ground while pressing the rope between your feet. There are three evacuation alarm panels installed on the aircraft. One alarm is located in the cockpit on the pilot's overhead panel. To initiate any evacuation, lift the guard and turn the command switch on. This also activates the flashing light and beeping sound at the alarms adjacent to the forward and aft flight attendant seats. The horn can be silenced at individual stations by pushing in on this button. The light, however, will continue to flash. The light can only be turned off by the switch that activated the system. There are both interior and exterior emergency lights. The interior emergency lights are located over each cabin door above the overwing exits, 
in the cockpit above the door and in the cabin ceiling. The exterior emergency exit lights will illuminate the evacuation slides and the overwing exit areas. The interior emergency lights and some of the exterior emergency lights will automatically illuminate with the loss of aircraft electrical power when the cockpit emergency light switch is in the armed position. The lights can also be turned on by placing this switch to the on position or by using the cabin emergency light switch at the forward left door. The emergency lights at some of the exits are also portable lights. They can be detached by removing the cover, depressing the latch levers on each end, and pulling out. If the light does not illuminate upon removal, an on-off switch is provided. The passenger oxygen system supplies oxygen throughout the cabin in the event of a decompression. The passenger oxygen masks are automatically released whenever the cabin altitude exceeds approximately 14,000 feet, or they may be electrically released with a switch on the engineer's panel, or the masks can be released manually by pulling the T-handle located on the aux panel. This T-handle can also be used to reset the system and turn off the oxygen flow. Oxygen masks are also provided above the flight attendant seats and in the lavatories. Oxygen will flow only to the masks that are pulled down. This action opens a valve within the passenger service unit. The amount of oxygen flow to the mask is variable depending upon the actual cabin altitude. The location of the fire extinguishers, portable oxygen bottles, megaphones, and other portable emergency equipment for the specific 727 model aircraft is indicated on this chart on the cockpit door and in your emergency procedures handbook. The 727, 31, and 31C models have a few differences in their safety equipment. They have two main cabin doors which are referred to as the forward left door and the center right door. They operate the same as the forward doors on the 231 model. However, the center right door does not have an escape rope. A passenger restraining strap is located on the forward bulkhead of each lavatory. This strap must be buckled across the aisle for all takeoffs and landings. The 31C aft stair has an emergency extension control. This is used only for an evacuation when pushing the control handle down does not lower the stairs. Activate the emergency extension by removing the cover and pulling the red T handle. This discharges two air actuators which shear the stairs up locks and produce an extension thrust great enough to allow the stairs to fall open. There is also an exterior emergency extension control on the lower aft left side of the fuselage. This control access and operation is similar to the inside control. To activate, remove this cover and pull the red T-handle. The 31 and 31C cockpit ropes are located outboard of each pilot's seat. 
To use this rope, first place it over this red hook above the window. This ensures being able to grasp the rope when descending. As a crew member, you may be called upon to perform in an emergency without advance notice. To be ready for this task, you should frequently review 727 emergency equipment and procedures. This will ensure that you will react quickly and correctly in an emergency situation.